What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. We have a really exciting one for you here today. We're doing a retaining wall and also some details on this screen port. So make sure you hit subscribe, stay tuned. We're getting our base set for this wall. We've put some geo grid in here. Now we're setting up our screed pipes and we do this a little bit different because we're not gonna run a compactor over this like the pavers afterwards. The height that these pipes are set at is the bottom of our base course. So we're gonna fill up this area with our three quarter stone just below the height of our pipes. Then we'll do a thinner layer of three a stone and we'll also hand tamp that so it's really nice and compacted and there's gonna be no settling at all. about the duck what I forget but it really had me quacking up <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think Just got a couple cuts to make on these caps. So, got my saw here, got my mask, got my earplugs, and uh, what we're gonna do, we have a small cut that needs to go here. So, I'm actually gonna shift these down, put the cut over on this end so it's less noticeable. There'll be a cut up against the wall, cut over there. The detail that we wanted here with our cap was having it come just underneath of our tread overhang. So you can see I'm tied up against the stair riser, but we don't have any overhang reveal on the cap. So I'm going to actually notch this and uh, that way we can pull it this way. It's going to be a nice look. Nice little notch there, small detail, but uh, it's gonna make it look nice and clean. Nice little notch. Doesn't have to be super clean because it's hidden underneath of the tread, but made sure it's precise anyway. Good to go. Another cut, and we'll just rip one inch off of this, and uh, good to go. What do you think? Looks great. Thanks. Nice little tip for cutting straight lines with a handheld saw. What I like to do is just score a line first, nice and straight, and because this is going against the deck, I'm just gonna angle the blade back a tiny bit so that my top sticks out further than the bottom and we're not going to have a gap.
All right, so let's see if it turned out straight and I angled it back correctly and uh, we should get a tight fit. Let's see. Pretty good. <laughs> Another thing to consider, we always like to dry fit these caps first, make sure everything is lining up nicely. It can be a little bit more difficult with a wall like this graphics wall because everything's coming in and out and has that dimensional look. So you're not having a super straight, consistent line. Should be straight and consistent overall, but from piece to piece, they're going in and out. So we like to set both ends. Then we can run a string line, make sure everything looks good. And once it does, we have all the pieces in there. Then we can pick them up one by one, glue them down, good to go. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need a string line. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a little, uh, it's a little out. I could tell as I was going, the overhang was getting a lot bigger on the front, so. What's the action equivalent of mansplaining? <laughs> I think I just did that. <laughs> Garden bed retaining wall, all wrapped up. Let's see what's next. Check it out. You can really see, look at all those fibers in there. Can you see it? Can you see all those hairs in there? Yeah. Can you? Before? Kinda, yeah. That's what's adding the strength there to our concrete. All right, we got our Avignon edge in here. We did that just the same way that we do our paver edging. Some concrete reinforced with those fibers. Now, we're working over here. Finishing up the edge on our walkway to the driveway. You can see Ant's working on some crazy stuff over there, but you're gonna have to wait for the next vlog to see all of that. Finish up this screen porch, a lot of detail stuff. So make sure you hit subscribe, stay tuned, and until next time, this is Premier Outdoor Living. <laughs>